was the darkest of nights, caught off the coast in the storm of a lifetime. The sirens had sung their song, and we were headed straight for the rocks. Our only choice was death, whether it be crushed in the wreck or drown in the deep. I've seen men scream in agony, being stoned to death, but never once heard a man complain with a lung full of ocean. So I knew I only had one choice. I made my way off the plank, but I was too late. Every time a bell rings, an angel dies. Reload, reload, reload. Oh, oh no, the humanity. Could you keep it down for just one second? Ethel, wait. Maybe she wouldn't be so needy if you didn't baby her all the time. I think that most women would be happy with somebody who takes care of their family. She's a grown woman who needs to be about. It's not normal. So what? You want me to No, Mr. Frog. I never said you have to choose between her and Don't get my feeling. So clearly you don't know. Or it's... <sighs> Three, two... How much longer are you going to be? I don't know when I'm done. Hey, Norman. What? Are you, are you and Ethel gonna break up? I don't know. I'll be, I'll be done soon. Just need the wax of tissues on. My love, it has been so long since we spoke last. The clock ticks on with a steady beat, and yet, without you, I am afraid the beat of my heart grows ever so weak. I stand by the lighthouse, hoping the strength of its glow or my passion for you will guide you back to me. The nights grow darker. And I turn to vices I am afraid will take me down a road where you cannot follow. The drink will get me yet. Uh. <laughs> hey, sis. Can I? Can I say here? Is that? Is yeah. that cool? Yeah. I don't. I never know. What you doing today? What's this? Got some, uh... Ooh! Just one. Dragons or... Um, it's Nazi U-boats. Serious, serious stuff. So I was just standing outside the door. Um, am I supposed to be the sad British lady? Or... It's fine. <laughs> I know that we can, you know, both be a little bit dramatic, right? <laughs> so, the, the real reason I came in here is that I just wanted to let you know that there's a chance that me and Ethel are getting back together. And I, I thought you might like to know. Because I feel like you've been telling some sad stories lately. And I hate sad stories. Yeah, me too. Do you think I could tell one? You know, maybe like a brother and a sister and there's an evil witch and... Um... I mean, I'd let me tell the story and stop. I'm the professional here. I know what I'm talking oh, about. Sorry. <laughs> you're right. You're right. There once was a mermaid princess, and she lived at the bottom of the sea with her brother. But she wasn't like the other mermaids. You see, she lived. She lived in a submarine. She was happy 
floating along with all the other mer people, but she was always on the other side of the glass. But one day, one day the brother, the merman, he met a human woman. And he was faced with an impossible choice. You know, how does he leave his sister underwater? How does he learn how to breathe? What happens to the sister? What if her submarine sinks? What happens? I mean, who takes care uh, of her? What is he supposed to do? Like, see, she loved her brother very, very much. She knew she would miss him. But she knew his secret from all her time in that metal box at the bottom of the sea. You see, mermaids, the mermaids there, they, they only knew how to swim, but... She, she could teach him how to breathe. Do you really think you know of a way to make this work? Yeah. I promise. <laughs>